The fearsome storms of today become the healing waters of tomorrow. Let's give them something to dance to. Hello, what's going on Guardians? My name's Erupt and welcome back to another Destiny video. Now in today's video, we're going to be doing a legendary review this time. Not exactly an exotic, but it comes close. This gun is a very, very cool gun. Comes with a very unique ability and it's based around the Warlock and you actually get it at rank 2 for the Gunsmith. Once you get to rank 2, this gun will be available to you for doing a little quest in return. So as I've already said, it is a fusion rifle and its name, of course, by now, as you know, is the Sasano. So first off, let's look at some stats. So straight up, we know that it comes as a solo weapon, and that's all for now. I'm not going to go over its elements too much, because that's what makes this gun so amazing. So the element is solo, and now let's move on to some of the statistics. So first of all, we have the high impact. Now that is expected on a fusion rifle, and it actually comes at 81. So it's a really, really high impact fusion rifle, and it really does its job with that impact. It puts in some work, and it can wipe out enemies really, really easily. Now the charge on it is 28 and I think the lower on a fusion rifle the charge rate is the better so it's got quite a low charge rate as well and that is quite common on a lot of Omelon fusion rifles which this is which is a bonus because I really love Omelon guns and to have a fusion rifle based around my main character is just a great bonus for me. Next up we have the range 38 it's not that amazing so it is used more in closer combat instances the charge rate will get you messed up if you try to use it too close but if you do have the opportunity to use it and you get comfortable to the range and you get used to the feel of the weapon a bit better. Next up we have the magazine size of 5 which is expected on a fusion rifle. They don't tend to have massive magazines. This is a really handy size for the magazine mainly because it works hand in hand with the special perk that this weapon has. Of course I'll go over that in the perk section. Recoil on this weapon is 50 so it does have quite a kickback when you launch it but that is another thing that you see on a lot of fusion rifles. When you shoot them you're of course shooting a lot of directed energy so your gun's going to bounce up in the air. It's, it's just something that's going to happen so it's something that you're going to have to get used to. It's not that hard to get over and it will just flow into your gameplay as you use fusion rifles more often, especially with a Sasano, such a nice and easy weapon to use. And remember, it is only available to Warlocks, so if you want to use it on Titans or Hunters, then you will have to transfer it over from getting your rank 2 Gunsmith on your Warlock character. The aim assist on it is 51, so it comes with quite a good aim assist as well if you don't trust in your aim that much. I mean, with fusion rifles, if you are that close, there's not much that you're going to miss with all the laser beams coming out of it. So this gun does really apply for just about every player. It's a really nice gun to use and there's nothing on it that makes it extraordinarily hard. The range does have its downside but that is just something that people get used to in Destiny and they will know when they want to use this. Um, on no means am I telling you to put this over something that does have range because it's all up to your playstyle. If you don't mind having a low range and a nice impact then this is definitely the special for you. But if you prefer something with a bit more range of course snipers and shotguns are probably what you are looking for. Okay, so this perk is called Elemental Transfusion. It's a really epic perk, I must say that, and it does help heavily when you want to mix a few classes together and you like your elemental difference. So first of all, let's go over what it actually does. So we know that this weapon is solar, and it all comes around you using a different elemental subclass to solar. So the damage caused by the subclass that you choose, for example, will make it arc, because that's what I use in this gameplay, changes the attributes of this gun. So when I do some damage with, say, my grenade or my melee ability, then that changes the Sasano from a solar temporarily to an arc. If you're using a void and you get some void damage with your abilities, then it will change the Sasano from a solar to a void temporarily in the game. The best thing about this, if you consistently get kills with the void or the arc change, that elemental change will continue and continue to grow longer. So it's really amazing to be able to have that variety with your subclass and your weapon working so well hand in hand. So as I mentioned, the change is only temporary, so it won't change to your subclass element for too long, it will actually go after a while. So my final comment on this weapon is that it is easy to use. With such a small range, the impact really does make up for that trouble, and that's why I like it so much. It's got a low charge time, so it's always viable to use in the Crucible, and it's definitely something that I would choose to run by my side in any game mode. It's also great for PvE, as the gun's final perk does allow it to change to any sort of burn that the modifiers may have. If it has a void burn, and you still want to use this weapon, just put on a void subclass, use the ability abilities on that void subclass and it will change to your liking. It can adapt to just about any situation you want it to, which is why I give this gun a nice 8 out of 10.
10. Tell me your thoughts on this weapon down below. Even if you aren't a warlock and you have got this gun from transferring it over to your warlock, tell me if this is something that you like. And I will, of course, be grinding for the Tark. I'm probably going to get that done on the day of recording this video, so that will be up in the next coming days. So that's all for today, guys. If you did enjoy today's video, then please be sure to leave a like, comment, subscribe, share this on social media for more Destiny tips, tricks, news, and updates in the community. My name's been Erupt, and have a great day.